folks, we are at the end of our journey with the MGT Microsoft Graph Toolkit. And today we're going to talk about Teams. How can we use Teams to leverage the Microsoft Graph Toolkit component? So I'm going to go quickly over the basics of MGT for the ones that are new to it. So what is the Graph Toolkit? It is a collection of reusable and framework agnostic components and auth providers that allows you to access and work with the Microsoft Graph. So the components are fully functional. They're ready-made. They can use them. It's kind of a drag and drop in your app and you're good to go. You can use components that are already connected to Microsoft Graph, which saves you tons and tons of time. Works with any web browser and any web framework. So you're using Angular, React, plain JavaScript, anything, you can always use the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. Why would you care about the toolkit? First, it's, it cuts on dev time. So you get to your business goals way faster. It is beautiful, but it's flexible. So if you love how Microsoft 365 looks like and you want to get some of that in your app, you're, you're good to go. We already have that. But if you want to customize it, you can also do it on your own terms. And it works everywhere, either on the web, in Electron, on a Teams app, in a SharePoint framework page, anywhere. It just works. And you know what? MGT loves Microsoft Teams. It is a match made in heaven. There's a lot of components that are very specific to Teams, but also that are really a great way to create apps that brings user context in there. So how do we start? I'm going to do two very, very quick demo. One, we're going to use Yo Teams, which is a Microsoft Teams um, community-driven uh, Yeoman generator, which is um, awesome and super simple to use. I'm going to go through this. Um, the only thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to install Teams, the Teams generator, sorry. And then you're going to have to say Yo Teams. You're going to create your app, a basic app. And afterwards, you're going to install your MGT React component. In my case, I used React. Um, and then you're going to want to uh, install one authentication provider that will allow you to get access to Microsoft Teams, the context and the authentication. So you're going to be fully authenticated. Um, so let's go on to the demo very quickly. And let me do that for now. So you can see on the, on the right that we have an MGT tab. Right here on the right and on the left, we have a little bit of code. I'm going to just zoom in just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, so what do we have? Here we have a regular, very regular, um, client.ts, which is kind of our entry point of our app. Nothing special there. Teams, when you're building apps, um, a vast majority of the times when you will build a web surface, you will be building a tab. And these tabs in uh, your teams, they all have their own small apps, if you'd say. So you're going to find, for example, my your teams tab uh, here. And this is where all my app would be for this specific tab. So let me go and see what's in there. So a couple of things. First, you will want to use our providers. You will want to use our specific provider, our Teams MSAL2 provider that allows you to have a great connection with Microsoft Teams and will handle the authentication for you. And the only thing you'll have to do is to say, hey, I am running in Teams. As here you know, we're using, if I'm in Teams, yes. Well, I'm in Teams. I'm going to reuse the library here. And I'm going to use this uh, configuration here, which tells my app that this is the app, the AAD app that I want to connect to. This is what are the scopes that I want to use. And this is where I want to use my authentication. Because authentication in non-SSO scenarios will be happening through a pop-up. If you want to go and set up SSO, then you will not even have a pop-up. It will work flawlessly without building this, but um, I didn't want to confuse folks to add a little bit of complexity to this solution, so I kept it as simple as possible. So once this happens, the only thing you have to do now, leverage MGT, which means in our case to use the components of MGT. For example, here, having a login component and here having a welcome person for me with these kind of things, which allows you to build something like this. For example, have my login components right here. I'm already logged in, so I don't have to log to go through the login, but here I can have my full 
um, people card and I can drag and drop and see all these kind of things. The beauty about using Teams as a surface to build your apps is now you also have the ability with the exact same bits of code, the exact same, 100% the same lines of code, you can actually now build apps that will land inside office.com. So for example, I have it here, I have office.com here and I can find that I have a Yo Teams app that is available right there. And I can use it and it has the exact same behavior that you have in Teams. So now that you, you went from a Teams developer to an office.com developer, allowing your users to connect to more um, of your data. And finally, you also have the exact same capability with an Outlook. So now you have the ability to have this and exactly the same capabilities. The beauty here, it's also uh, integrates natively with the uh, theming engine of Microsoft Teams. So if I go here and I put it in dark, now all my tab is now fully dark and um, looks really, really great on my UI. Second thing that I wanted to do, I'm going to go quick for that. Um, if you want to try out Teams, um, uh, building apps with Teams with the Teams toolkit, which is a, a Microsoft provided framework to build apps in both .NET and JavaScript and TypeScript, you, we also have a sample that is available. So the only thing you will have to do is to go to your Teams Toolkit tab, click on View Samples, and install here the Contact Exporter using the Graph Toolkit. What it's going to give you, it's going to give you this great app that we can find here that has a capability of searching for folks. I'm going to search for Adele right here, and where I will be able to export this list of folks straight to an Excel uh, um, spreadsheet. What's the beauty here? This sample uses entirely SSO. So you don't even need to log in. The only pop-up you're going to get is the first time for consent um, if you don't have already consented to, these, uh, to this app. But besides that, there is no login required with this. So a really, really great example to see the full set of capabilities that MGT can enable with Microsoft Teams. So let me go back quickly, quickly to the slides before I hand it off to you. Um, there's a, a couple of resources. Go to our repo, ak.ms slash MGT. You can look at our docs, at our issues. You can even contribute. You want to see all the samples that I just showed today, they're all available on our sandbox samples. You want to play with our playground or you want to learn more about MGT, everything is there. Vesa, back to you. Excellent. Thank you, Sebastian. Really, really cool to see those uh, live and, and awesome demos. And it's great to see that the Teams uh, V2 SDK, which is still in preview, is, is already functioning so that you can take the same Teams application. You can expose that not only in Teams, but also in Office and in Outlook, which is really, really cool as well. So um, for those who might come from a SharePoint framework uh, perspective, that actually integrates with this uh, Teams V2 uh, packaging model uh, in future as well. And all of that is kind of getting automatically. So SPFX is more the hosting side of the house, not the capability side of the house. But all of this is getting nicely integrated to each other. Thank you.